Ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is the last lap of our breakfast show morning rain. And if you're just joining us, my name is Amina Atayra, and I say I have Dako Adibo in the studio with me. My Louisa is just taking a chill pill behind the scene. Well, we told you that our Let's Talk segment this morning, of course, we always have amazing guests from music to um, the movie industry and even to that of art. But today we're focusing on the Nigerian film industry and we have one of Nigerian finest. I call him world class. Someone, a lover boy, someone your sweet, your screen sweetheart, who has been in the movie industry for over two decades and has captured the hearts of many. So he is one person that whenever you see him on a poster, you just want to watch the film because you already know that, yeah, something is going to happen. So some there. action. Yes. <laughs> You're going to be seeing some action or some poo poo poo, things like, <laughs> like that. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome one of my Nigerians' finest sweethearts, Jim. Ike. Ah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, wow. thank you. I'm taking the job now. I'm taking, no, no, I'm taking Connell's job now. I've told you before, you have the job, but you know, I'm taking, but we can't match the GM salary, that's the problem. It's okay, I don't, I don't like money. <laughs> How are you doing, Jim? Thank you, dear. Nice to see you. You're always looking gorgeous. What is wrong with you? I, I'm trying to be like you. Like Give you up on this good-looking thing, really man. Good. I mean, how do you cope with her? Uh, honestly, she, she, she's a mouthful. So, she, 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 so, so yeah, the show is a, about you a, this okay. morning. Okay. Like, you're you the spotlight yes. this okay. morning. It's okay. Let me and just some. back at you, yeah, you okay. have been looking like this for over since I can remember. Mm -hmm. 2001? Yeah. I mean, since I started watching, like, mm -hmm. you on screen. Mm -hmm. And I'm what like, what is the secret? Like, you don't go, like, you don't age. Ah, uh, well, it's, um, it's called the Vampire Chronicles. Um, we go out around midnight every day to look for blood. <laughs> Ooh, <now that's> <laughs> <laughs> I better go. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to wear. <laughs> This is this is where they take everything literally. Yeah, like, <laughs> they know. But this is wrong. The vampire. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the thing is, I um, I minding your business. I mm. think it's a great formula. Mm. Uh, theology of life. Um, I've kept. Um, I've been a martial artist almost all my life. I'm on my second damn black belt. So it's a, it's a oh, ritual. Yeah. It's a life. I um, I keep my workout routine is brutal as well as life saving. Um, wow. I'm I'm a, I'm a sweet tooth. I, I eat a lot of, so yeah. I have to complement it with a really hard workout routine, and then um, you know I, I try to enjoy life. I don't Very let things important. worry me. I remember that. I mean, when you started, because I remember like I hear on one of your interviews mm. then, like mm. very early, where you said that. You have always been rich. Like you started, mm. um, you had two million naira in your account when you started, and in over yes, a year you had three million. Mm. I mean, just took me to the fact that you said you also mm. had money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much do we have right now? <laughs> uh, EFCC and I are not good friends <laughs> like that, you know. I also don't want the uh, IRS uh, following us for no reason. Oh, yeah. Let, um, where, where it's not about money. It's never been. At some time in my life. I think it's also important in your 20s and 30s that you make it about money. Mm. Um, it becomes your foundation, becomes your structure. You can project dreams and encompass other people's dreams into your fold. And um, you know, a house that doesn't stand can take in tenants. Yeah. And at some point, that's really what you are. You become a landlord of sorts that will take in all kinds of people to groom them, to mentor them, to show them direction and make sure they don't make the mistakes and the pitfalls that came to you earlier in your day. Mm. So I think that is the kind of life we are about. At some time, you transcend the financial reward. It's about legacy. It's about the marks you live on the sands of time. Mm. It's about the principles and ideology you impart on your children. Great. And then, you know, so it becomes a bigger purpose. Um, now, I'm not saying I'm not about the money. I'm a businessman. <laughs> mm. um, but it's, it's just that um, I think priorities, you no know, change. But I mean, talking about um, money and then the aspect of passion, mm. uh, I mean, from your experience, how, how can one draw a balance? especially at you know one's prime it's a very delicate balance i promise you because um we're in a capitalist industry and they make it so much about the returns as you go mm. about your money as you go but um while it's important it's also you must understand that i've never been in the race of sprints i'm in the sprint um, race of marathons so mm. to speak and to be a great marathon runner you have to pace yourself um, some of the biggest paycheck, uh, paychecks I've had in the course of my life 
didn't come from you know relationships or the returns that I got in the course of my career. It came from relationships. It came from association. It came from people mm. that I fostered a long-term relationship with that could speak for me in front of certain conglomerates and um, certain investors, and then and then we we, we made them um, you know really considerably big deals happen. Interesting. Mm. Now, now you are one person who has uh, I mean you've been um, the eye uh, in the eyes of social media. Mm. Um, even though that are off social media, I always have one or two things to say. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. There's a reason going into that movie side. But I want to look at how you were able to manage um, all the kinds of comments. But before that, before I go into that, um, the reason why it's here, which is a trailer, a movie that you guys don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. How to handle bad comments from <laughs> Nigeria today. I want us to see the trailer, you know, by Jim Ike. Mm. And when we come back, we're going to open the phone line briefly because I know that a lot of people also want to talk to you directly mm. this morning and we'll be back with them. About every one of you, you came after me. You destroyed everything that I stood for. You found me on Twitter. You found me on Instagram. You found me on Facebook. Your comments. What is going on in my life? This is to clearly state that I own your life. Have you been online? I've treated everybody fairly. I'm a no boss. I need you to calm down, please. Are you going to tell me that you've never done anything with that girl before? Mm -hmm. I had that girl for six months. What? Natasha Adebayo. None of them look like online fools. They're lions online and then pussycats in real life. Oh, hi. I've heard so much about you. A little louder. Find them. I want to know where they live. I want to know who their friends are, who their families are, where they work, who they work for. We know how he or she operates. Your father is a herbalist. What did you say? Worry not to carry last man. No. Oh, me. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's alright. Half of your social media followers are not your fans. Ladies and gentlemen, Bad Comments. Mm. And that's a film EP by Jim Ike. Mm. Talking about bad comments and your trolls. Mm. Was this like a, a build up mm -hmm. from experience mm. into film? Mm. Or what was it? Well, it's an experience I think we've all had. Um, it doesn't matter how you juxtapose the positions. Um, it's either you've been a troll or a victim. <laughs> You know, at some point <laughs> in your life, yeah. it's a um, bad comment is every one of us in this room, as long as you exist in the social media um, ecosystem. Um, it, as long as you're between two to 90 years old, at some point you would have used this phenomenon called the Internet. Mm -hmm. And that means a part of you is here. I wanted to make a movie that would transcend um, a certain um, frame of reference. I didn't want it to be called a Hollywood, Bollywood, or Nollywood film. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make a universally viable film, something you can take away, something that will resonate with everybody. Um, it's a movie that cuts across all divide. I mean, it doesn't matter your creed, religion, status, or political affiliation, you find yourself here. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to find a movie that is a common denominator in the world. Yeah. You know, a, a movie everybody, irrespective of where you stand, can appreciate with. And 
that was what we created. I mean, this is your Africa. debut uh, a movie. No, no, I have okay. produced three times. Oh, three before, times. Before, but they were made uh, to low budget films. This, of course, today is my biggest. It's um, premium. I mean, let's let, let's let's talk about. I mean, the journey. I mean, mm. how many years or how long mm. did it take? Did it take to actually, you know, put, this to actually put this together? I mean, the challenges that were faced, and also, of course, uh, the juicy parts too. It, it, it's it's tremendous. Um, it, this was different again because I I was at the helm of affairs in front and behind the camera. I mm. led the cast to start with. And then when I was a financier behind the scene yeah. as executive producer, producer, producer um, um, propsman, I also did my own styling. As it, wow. it was my baby. That's like a, that's like a Tyler Perry. <laughs> how I did. I mean, no, I went Tyler Perry on this one. That, no, you, no, yeah, because this is he was my greatest Perry. motivator. I just wow. had to take his work ethos, study the man the way he goes in. I shut down my life and I went out there and recruited some of the best minds in the business mm. around the sub-Saharan. I, I told anybody they could find, I said, bring him. And, you know, because you're, you know, these guys are, uh, you know, high network individuals and they're extremely good, they come with these terms and conditions that's extremely challenging. Yeah, because mm. I was going to ask you, how Chiwe Selago? You know, he's, he's in this film. Yeah. And he, he's, he's like one of my sweethearts. Yeah. You guys look alike, though. Yeah. You know, with the eyes thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and, and I'm like, how did he get Chiwe Talagu, you know, in here? It, being an EP, I know mm. it could be extremely daunting when mm. it comes to finances mm. and whatnot. Mm. How were you able to match that Timaya and all those, you know, people that extremely you were able to awesome. bring together? And, and that's exactly what I was talking about um, when you foster a certain an association as you go. Mm. I've always been a relationship investor. I invest in human resources more wow. than anything else. Um, I have friends that call me up and say, hey, we're doing this. Even if I can physically make it, I'll say, my brother, take this as support, you know, because I always knew my day would come when I'll call in a favor. Mm -hmm. So the investment in human resources, I think, is the best investment yet. Uh, when, when it's time to rally around and bring a certain people, I'll tell you, a lot of people on back coming was their debut. Ah. Oh, yeah. Um, I had special special on it. I had um, Lil John, the weekend producer. Mm -hmm. You know, so we drew talent from very unlikely places. Wow. Mm. Every time I needed a certain character, I said, no, it doesn't have to be an actor. There's a certain look, a certain mannerism, a certain approach to the character base that I wanted, a certain treatment. Find me such a so person, wherever they are deficient, We'll make it happen. We'll give them the training they needed and make it happen. Ladies she and gentlemen, I featured, in, I, featured, I featured in there. I remember that day. She was, I'm too busy. I said, listen, it's that lady. You see that lady? She's the one. I don't care what you guys say. We went out there. We had a conversation. And she said, okay, you know what? I'll do it. And I, I said remember, it. And, and she, the script was and sweet. She I, I, I was behind the scenes. And she day. killed it. Yeah. Because, I'm you know, I mean, I mean, I was a person. Okay, imagine. Make I'm sure this thing goes viral. <laughs> like it has to go viral. I say I mean, it again. No, I mean, I mean, I was the person. Now imagine if I didn't get an minute to do that role. Yeah. It wouldn't exactly oh. sit. Oh, well. social media, you taking that? <laughs> you know. So, but, but tell me, yes, yeah. bad comments right yeah. now. I mean, you 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 premiered um, for yeah, well, from the press. Yeah, yes. for the press recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now tell us, um, when are Nigerians? going to have a feel of when can we have the official let me call it mass premiere where no. nigerians can actually go see this um on 27th august 27 okay Seven. let's i'm getting mixed okay. up we're coming to cinemas near you mm. all, all over west africa Voila. okay west so africa. but on the 21st it's written right there on yeah. the 21st of um august as well we're doing our premium we're having and unprecedented access to bad coming. And I want people to come out and just come out to IMAX and see what we're doing. 21st. Voilà. I will take as many people as, come, as they come. I'm telling you, I don't care if the place is over flooded. Hmm. Though hmm. we'll do social distancing, make sure that you wash your hands, you have your sanitizers, yes, sanitizers and well. you have your face mask. Please, let's, let's do it properly with, a, with decorum and just come out and see what Evidently, it's the best film of the year. Yeah, mm. we had to. Amazing. I mean, and I also want to add, like, bad comment. I mean, looking at mm. the aesthetics and the props mm. and everything mm. that you were able to put, oh, you know, through goodness. as EP. What's like budgets? What's 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 this film? I mean, I went over our budget five times, wow. and that's wow. why it's important for me um, that the journey has always been 
go back into business, which is what I know best. I come from a business family of traders, of, of professors. And I, know, I know my own. In. So I went back. What I, I did a lot over the years in the past was establish these entities and put them in the hands of who they were far less passionate than I was, had far less drive, had ulterior motives, and they were always running to the ground. Mm. So what we did this time was that, you know, I went all out. I said, you know what, the next six, seven years, I'm just going to put my head down, forget attention, forget industry, forget wherever I came from, and make it happen in my business world. Mm -hmm. wow. So we went out um, in real estate and logistics and travel agencies. I brought World Ventures to Nigeria, by the way. Wow. Um, wow. We're in our third branch now. Um, our real estate firm, um, Lustrous Dynamics, is doing extremely well. We have a logistic firm. We also just acquired um, a gaming service called Biggie Lotteries. Okay, and so we, we diversified There's properly. There's a lot of things that you're doing. Yes. So you just somehow not told me how much you actually, how much this film is worth. But it's fine, you're a businessman. <laughs> a proper yeah. businessman. A, a, a proper <laughs> executive producer would never tell we'll you never how much your film is that. worth. Yes. Mm. Never. Yes. You know, you just, you just from the aesthetics, from what you've seen, mm. you, you know, know that it's not a hundred million naira film. Interesting. Now, I know that you're having like a media tour. Let me call it a world tour mm. on bad comments. Right. And I mean, when you talk about so they always say that there's always a PR person behind mm -hmm. it. I mean, you were mentioning something behind saying that you said <laughs> yeah. you have known um, Ambassador Conor Lodovia for what, 15 years. 15 it's years. Since I was a kid. And the both of you refused to age. <laughs> like, I, like, I, I don't understand. I got into the industry when I was about 21 or 20. Wow. You know, I was fresh off college. And the first person I met a couple of years after, immediately I could afford my first 50k because that's why he charged me. Like, Connor, man, what Connor did to me? <laughs> so I met Connor. I remember negotiating with Connor for two, three hours. Wow. Connor took half my fee that day. Oh, no. You no, know, I just got paid 60k. <laughs> so I was feeling like a rich man. Connor took half of my money just to, you know, represent me and all that. But I tell you, it's one of brotherhood. We fight a lot. Mm. We we make up all the time. I mean, we're we're like, Connor is like my wife. <laughs> it's from the bad side of the you know? So we always fight. But amazing fellow Connor, um, he he just goes far above and beyond. It's, it's a relationship that that spanned a lot cool. a long time. Mm. Cool. So because I know that I mean you have like other things to do, and we also have like another mm, guest yes, that will be yes. coming in shortly. Mm. I like to ask one thing, just one in one sentence. Mm. What should people expect to see in bad comments? What's the take home? What is the take home? The take home is um, a relatable, universally viable film that you can take anywhere and beat your chest mm. and understand that finally we have made a film that's for the ages, for the times, and mm. this is the best work ever, the best body of work ever that I've ever done, ever, 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 as long mm. as mm. this year is concerned. So, I mean, that, that's a great testament because I've Tell done a me. lot. Yeah. Amazing. That is bad <laughs> comments for you going on the cinemas. On the 27th, yes, but before 27, there's a 21, which yeah. has IMAX Cinema. Mm, yeah. So you want I'm to see Jim Mike, you want to have like one-on-one -on -one with him. Mm, mm. You want to see him and ask him, please give me glass as souvenir. <laughs> because these glasses, he has been wearing it. I mean, like this oval shape, I said, I think it's a signature or something yeah. when it comes to the oval shape yeah. glasses. Mm. But I'll take that next time. <laughs> thank you so much, Jim. Thank you for and I wish you the best queen. in the back comments. Brother, thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah, so Kanala Duffy, I've taken your job yes, from this yeah, moment, just so you know that. Ladies and gentlemen, Man. Yes, you have more questions. Head on to our social media platforms and drop your comments. Um, find him also on social media. Instagram handle. Jim.Ike, that's where we live. Jim.Ike, that's where we live. And I live on Rain TV channel. One. Yes? <laughs> yeah. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again.